May I invite the next speaker, a very innovative person himself, and he's going to tell us more about the innovative way to deal with intumescent cataract. And Santosh Agrawal happens to be the president of Maharashtra Ophthalmological Society. All yours. Thank you, Gopal, for your kind words. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman. And uh, today I'm going to present an innovative uh, technique to deal with intumescent cataract. It's very rewarding. This is an intumescent cataract, white cataract. Then two side ports are made. And now the 24 gauge needle is bent and it is penetrated inside the capsular bag to aspirate the liquid cortex. And from the other end, simultaneously you are injecting the cord, uh, sorry, visco. And now this is the first uh, CCC, small CCC I have made. Then I will enlarge it later on. I am taking out all the cortical matter from the capsular bag, which is, there is a high intracapsular pressure in uh, intumescent cataract. So we have to decompress it, debulk it, and then we can perform the nucleotomy and other phaco emulsification techniques as usual. So many times you encounter hard nucleus, sometimes you encounter soft nucleus in intumescent cataract. So young people, most of the time it is a soft cataract. This is another case, again two simultaneous incisions. The important point is simultaneously you are aspirating as well as pouring the visco inside the entry chamber from the other end. So this is the aspiration with the needle. At the same time you are pouring the visco from other end. I have also uh, discovered one automated technique of visco delivery, but one can go for manual visco delivery also. So this is a small capsular axis I have made. And then I have aspirated and decompressed the capsular bag so that there will not be any Argentinian flag sign. So other FACO method is same. Again, so again the two side ports I have made. This is the aspiration mode. I have aspirated the central part of the cortex through the incision and from other end I have poured the visco inside the anterior chamber so that the anterior chamber is well maintained, your capsular uh, anterior capsule is flattened and so there is no risk of Argentinian flag sign. Instead of this anterior opening uh, um, cannula, I have used the end opening cannula so that the cortical removal is easy. After decompressing, I have just take the nick under visco and uh, enlarge to the desired size. So this is a two-stage capsular axis, very rewarding, very safe. For last three, four years, I am following this technique without any Argentinian flag sign. Again, this is the old video, the same two side port one for the aspiration, one for pouring the visco simultaneously. So concurrent action is very much required. Otherwise, you can encounter Argentine flag sign on the puncture only, at the time of puncture only. So you have to be cautious. You have to pour the visco so that entry chamber is well maintained. Now this is the second stage, capsular axis. To the, again, the same technique two side ports, aspirating central cortex, decompressing the capsule, and pouring the visco from other side. This is the main important point in this technique. Many people tried punch capsular axis and other techniques, but what I found, the peripheral part is not taken care of, so many times you get Argentinian flag sign. It will just decompress the central part only. Again, this aspiration and pouring the visco from other side, it will save your life. So decompression of the capsular bag is the main important point in intumescent cataract. 
and uh, before going for any this type of cataract surgery you can go for enter segment oct also to find out uh, where is the cortical material or the fluid part in the capsular bag that is also helpful if you have enter segment oct this is a hard cataract so many times in old age you find this type of cataract and uh, in some cases the capsular uh, margins are fragile in intumescent cataract so you have to take care of that also so agarwal main objective of these cataracts are to make perform a baby rexis and it solves the purpose then you just wash out the intra uh, capsular all the liquid material or flakes what i say and then after you can enlarge as he has demonstrated all in videos so he is uh, one time he is using irrigation so the main object uh, principally at the beginning we were also maintaining the ac maintainer so in place of the ac maintainer you can use the continuous irrigation mode in the interior chamber you you will be quite comfortable in that situation very well done Thank dr shubhash well dr santosh a very innovative idea yes, and yes. if i have to sum up that what you need to prevent the extension of the rexis are basically two things one is the tackling the intra lenticular pressure yes and second is making this capsule flatten because the more it's going to go convex the chances of extension are more and very wonderfully tackled all all both these very aspects of the preventing that extension of the rexis thank you so much uh, dr santosh uh, you have uh, aspirating with a needle right yeah did you connect it to your feco machine or you are doing it with a syringe no no it's a feco machine connected yeah. it to the feco machine yeah right yes uh, sir i would like to ask uh, how do you aspirate with the one hand like you are no, putting no. the visco at the other hand but when we usually oh, do aspiration we need two hands for aspiration i have invented that uh, automated visco delivery system also okay. so from one end i am uh, just uh, uh, with the foot pedal i am pouring the visco inside the anterior chamber and from other side that is attached to the uh, feco machine aspiration port so aspirating with the automated technique only do you But have video if, can you if you don't you? have that uh, automated visco delivery you can inject with the hand also no, no aspiration then. aspiration with the feco mm. machine Feco machine. Okay, thank you. How much vacuum did you uh, fix for that? Vacuum? Vacuum. I am using Venturi, so 200 to 300. While aspirating the yeah. liquid cortex. Yeah. Have you ever encountered the, I mean, the extension of the anterior capsule? No, no, I didn't encounter because I am doing very small capsule rex initially. Baby rex. Then I am aspirating all the mid peripheral cortex. Yes. I am decompressing it, and then I am going for second. Thank you. CCC. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, doctor.